We are in Wayfair State Park on the north end of Flathead Lake. Something's getting me. Um, Flathead Lake, I believe, I was told, is the largest lake on the west side of the, is it the Mississippi? The west of the Mississippi, yeah. Yes. The largest body of water. Yeah. Um, so today we have decided to rent kayaks to go explore the lake. It's a giant lake, so we'll be exploring a very small, small part. part <laughs> we did get inquire on getting jet skis so that we could cover more area, but they were really expensive. So we're doing kayaks for 40 bucks for all day. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's where we're headed. We're kind of in a rush because the guy's uh, almost here to meet it's us at the boat way. dock. Ooh. All right. This is our fleet. <laughs> They're about as wide as they are long. So that should make for an easy paddle, right babe? Right. <laughs> One beer and heavy cheeseburgers later, and we get to paddle four to twenty miles back <laughs> to the campground. So, yeah. He's scared. We made it back from our kayaking adventures. <laughs> Oof, I may have bitten off more than I could chew yeah, with that she one. She tends to do that. She I gets do. all enthusiastic about things and then uh, about halfway through, I'm getting yelled at. Listen, <laughs> when in Rome or on Flathead Lake, you get on the water. Yeah. Yeah, um, we, we had a great time. It was fun. We, we really did. You know, a little we, longer than we would have liked, but it was fun. It was. I think that we decided that when the kid that dropped off the kayaks told us four miles, it was actually more like five miles to get to the restaurant inside the bay where we were going. But then Brie also wanted to go the other direction, which was probably two miles. So we're calculating somewhere between 10 and 12 miles total, which I think is kind of impressive considering we haven't kayaked in. In, I don't know a year at least when you rent kayaks they tend to give you the more stable ones yeah. because it's safer and in order to be stable they're wide they're as wide as they are long <laughs> and it's like, a, like a disc <laughs> and they're um, slugs in the water they are just slugs yeah. um, so you know that didn't help either <laughs> making excuses, excuses now excuses, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we had a really great time. A great time. So yeah, that's it. That's our time here in Flathead Lake. We only had a couple of days to spend yep. um, in this area and we're moving down to Missoula tomorrow. So really loving Montana. Montana is gorgeous. It's a great state. It's it really nice. is. There's a... In the summer. I don't know about the winter. <laughs> in the summer, it's beautiful. It is. All right, we are leaving Big Fork. Leaving Big Fork, leaving Flathead Lake. We are uh, headed down to Missoula. Uh, we are taking a, it's only about a 30 minute out of the way route uh, to get there to do a scenic drive called the, the Swan or the Swan Sealy Scenic Drive. Uh, so we do look for uh, various ways to get from one place to the next and if it's not too far out of the way we'd much rather take a scenic route as long as there aren't any crazy climbs or you know it's too small of a road or has low bridges or whatnot so um this yeah. one is is kind of sandwiched the road is sandwiched between the swan mountains on our left and the 
Swan Lake and Swan River will be on our right almost the whole the whole distance. Yeah, so it should be a pretty drive. Only only about I think two and a half hours to get from Big Fork to Missoula. And then once we get to Missoula, we are staying in another Harvest Toast. We are going to be staying at Big Sky Brewing. Missoula was a stop that we were both interested in stopping at. Um, the movie The River Runs Through It was filmed in, or I'm assuming probably outside of Missoula, um, which for fly fishing people or fans of Brad Pitt is a wonderful movie and and really beautiful scenery. So um, yeah, excited to, to get into Missoula. Only have a couple of days to be there, but we're gonna try to make the most of it. Missoula. Missoula, Montana. Uh, staying at the Big Sky Brewery. Uh, this place is a nice stop for us. They've got an amphitheater with a really big lush green field, um, which has been great for the dogs. So it's we're getting a late start to the day. It's about three o'clock already. Not our original intention. We planned to get up early and get to the farmer's market, but uh, we got waylaid by chores, believe it or not, kind of boring, but um, we ended up, we've got like a little Dyson stick vacuum that we ended up um, completely taking apart. Man, it was a mess. We took it apart like beyond the beyond normal. The manufacturer's recommendations. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure we voided the warranty today, but I took it apart according to the instructions and cleaned the filter and there was still a stink coming from it and I just... I, I couldn't stand it, so TJ got the tools out and uh, yeah, he got it apart further and we found a lot of dirt and grime in there. Yeah. So that's good as new again. Uh, yeah. It's been cleaned and put back together and then we started, we've had a slow drain in the bathroom sink for a few weeks now and because our sink in the bathroom drains into the black tank we weren't comfortable using normal drain cleaners like Drano and whatnot um, we just didn't know what those chemicals would do in our tanks uh, so we ended up taking the trap off that little elbow underneath the sink it will make you want to vomit the stuff that comes out of there it is I've been nasty putting it off for that reason <laughs> Plumbing is my least favorite thing in the world and there's an obvious reason why when you start taking plumbing apart. Yeah, it's the gunk, the gunk and, and goop and just nastiness that came out of there was disgusting. Cool. Yeah, so uh, between those few things, we're not getting out of here till three o'clock and one of our stops is to Lowe's, so not the most exciting thing, but we're gonna try to do some sightseeing around Missoula uh, while we're out. So. This heat is a bit much. We are struggling to get motivated to do much of anything here in Missoula. Uh, we ended up going to Lowe's and getting the few things we needed for our projects and then grabbing a late lunch, early dinner. I'm not sure what it was. <laughs> it was a weird time to eat. Um, and then just came back to the trailer. We were just like, oh, I just don't want to do anything. The things that we were interested in doing, we had gotten too late of a start. So we were just like, forget it. We're going back to the trailer. Where we went and proceeded to lay around and kind of just nap the afternoon away. Well, we got our sink fixed and, <laughs> and did some chores, but for the most part, yeah, we wasted the day. <laughs> Which, you know, that's okay. Sometimes, Sometimes that happens, that. Yeah. right? Um, but it's getting later in the day and we're trying not to make this a total waste of a stop. So we're walking up to uh, Big Sky Brewery's tap room uh, to get a couple of beers and see where that goes. <laughs> Mom. 
Montana breweries, come here, babe, have a law that if they, what is it, if they sell under... It's for tap rooms and breweries. If, if, they, they, if they sell more than 10,000 barrels, they can only serve till 8 p.m. <laughs> so, yeah, we got to have a beer. <laughs> we got there at like 7.55. Yeah. Um, but still, really nice place, really good beer. Yeah. Yep, so, I don't know. I'm feeling slightly revitalized, so we may head into downtown, perhaps? I don't know, we'll see what happens. We made it to downtown. <laughs> One interesting thing about Montana is that the sun doesn't set until close to 10 o'clock at night. Yeah, so, it's 9 o'clock right now. <laughs> it's very bizarre. It's 10 o'clock. The sun is just going down. <laughs> Can you see how bright it still is? Yeah, it's weird. Uh, so, again, our timing is off. <laughs> it seems to be a theme today. By the time we got to downtown... We came down to see a... They have a hand-carved a carousel, merry-go-round type thing. And we came downtown to see that and it closed at seven. Yep. <laughs> we got here at nine. So we uh, that. And but, just most of the restaurants and cute little shops had closed up and the bars were open, which we're not against going in a bar by any means, but we had brought the dogs with us downtown and so that really limited us. We didn't see a lot of options with like outdoor seating that were open yep so i think uh i think that's it for missoula all in all a pretty cool town although we didn't get to experience nearly as much of it as we had maybe originally hoped but still a good stop for us yeah great stop